So hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lucky. Needed to make sure I said it that we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away a free set of quad tip exhausts to one lucky winner. Uh, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, follow these rules that I'll throw up here, and you guys will be automatically entered in. I'm gonna be doing a live to show who the winner is on the giveaway this Friday. So if you guys could, like I said, go ahead and participate in that, join the family, and you get a chance to win a free set of quad tip exhausts. What we're going to be talking about today is the painting and body work on the vehicle. So as I mentioned before, the uh, front bumper, that's still going to be changed out, but I might go ahead and paint it before. Um, this hood, this will be painted and the side uh, fender flares, the uh, front bumper extension fender flares, those still need to be painted and we're still waiting on that light to come in. Um, Besides that, uh, the whole car will be going through a color change. Uh, the wheels, I'm going to be powder coating those myself. Uh, same for the brake calipers. As you can see, they're fairly dirty right now, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those all cleaned up and, and redone. Um, there is a big old scratch here that was caused by me. Yeah, there's going to be a whole lot uh, changing. I do love the black and everything like that but there is just I just want to try something new and this color is going to be very very different I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be using to paint with and I'm venturing into a new world honestly this isn't you know uh, something that I'm extremely familiar with but I do have a, a good amount of knowledge on how everything is supposed to go um, as far as with prep and uh, actually laying the paint on the car and you know the mixing and everything else like that so with that being said i'm going to show you everything that i have that i'll be using to paint with okay so as far as with the uh the car and the color uh what's initially going to happen is i do need to paint match the uh hood and other components you know of the car like fixing that big old scratch that you guys saw and other things like that so that's where i'm going to have to learn how to do the bondo the body work and you know uh making sure that the surface is level and that there isn't any other imperfections. The car does have some hail damage, so I do think that I'm capable of doing some PDR, some uh, paintless dent repair, but honestly, it would be in my best interest to go ahead and fix that stuff now rather than waiting later, but I really wanna get the paint, the, uh, the color on the car, and as far as with the color, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. Um, so we're doing a ZGA Hypershift Pearl on the car. Uh, I'll be using Autoflex Express, and that in itself is a uh, peelable paint. Um, it's a very, very hard shifting color. It's a very, very out there kind of color. And I really do think that it'll look sick on the car, especially for the build. It is a very unique kind of build. I think it's gonna look even meaner on the drag setup that we're gonna be doing on the car. But enough of that, let me go ahead and show you guys what all I have that I'll be using to paint with. Uh, if there's any other recommendations that you guys can throw down in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Like I said, this is a new world for me and I've invested a lot of money into the equipment that I have so far. I'm still going to have to invest a fair amount more to get the lighting and the rest of the masking uh, supplies. But as far as the major stuff, I'll go ahead and show you guys what all I got. The first thing that I think anyone would want to be interested in when knowing what, you know, someone's using for paint is the gun. So this is the gun that I'm using. Um, it is a Europro HE. That is the high efficiency one. Um, this one has a 1.3 tip. And with this gun, um, it feels very solid. The trigger on it is solid. It has enough, you know, play to, you know, let you shoot your air out and then pull uh, some other guns. It's very, very hard uh, to go ahead and get that kind of feel and I already enjoy it and I haven't even painted with it yet. So this is the box that it comes in. I got this off of Amazon um, and I'll be grabbing the 1.8 version of this as well. So I'll have two, but the other one will be green. So I won't be using the white cup that comes with the uh, spray gun. Uh, instead, what I have here is this adapter piece. This is the S27. Uh, this is what I'll be using for the 3M PPS uh, quick release kit. It's a pretty solid gun and it's fairly cheap. It's not something that would break the bank but it is a very quality gun. You can feel it and it looks kind of like, I, I believe the Seda Jet 
uh, guns, the expensive versions, those things uh, are awesome. And this uh, basically I think is a knockoff of that. I'll be using 3M PPS uh, quick release kit. Um, this is the 2.0 version of it. Um, this is the main cup that uh, I'll be using. This is the cup that uh, you put on there. You can throw your new filter off in there and mix it up and then spray. It shrinks the bag down and you throw the bag away so it's disposable. So putting it on the gun just slides on and then it twists to lock like that. And it is on there very, very solid. You don't have to worry about it you know, going anywhere. It's a very uh, proven system and that is the main reason why I got this. I didn't want to have any issues with sitting there and having to worry about cleaning it and everything else. So moving on, as far as safety, I have this uh, 3M face mask. It comes with, I have my filters and everything on here. We got a hundred pack of cheap paint filters. Put this in the cup, strain it out, you know, as you're mis mixing and everything else like that. Um, so like I mentioned, I was gonna be doing my own powder coating. Um, so I have my whole system here. It comes with all of this stuff inside. So it's fairly straightforward. All I need is the powder and uh, to get my air compressor and everything else set up to it. Got this from Harbor Freight. So I'll also need to create a powder coating station and I'll also need to get an oven to go ahead and bake all of the stuff in there. I'm not doing any big things yet. Uh, I know the wheels are a pretty big thing, but uh, if I can find a big enough oven or whatever to fit those in there, I'll go ahead and do that. And what we have here is a solid multi-stage air drying system. Uh, this came from HTP, uh, USA Weld, if you will, uh, made in the USA. So here we have all the desiccant beads that I'll be using to refill the filter system. So this is a five stage air drying system, but comes with uh, all of the other filters and other accessory pieces that you would need in order to screw this all together. This is a pretty solid setup, man, and I'm very glad that I went ahead and invested in this. Uh, it comes with a whole catalog on other parts and stuff that they sell. I'm fairly certain that this will handle everything that I'll throw at it, um, but I will, I'll go ahead and throw the diagram up. I still need to run the line for all of the, uh, for the air drying system myself. Um, I'm not 100% sure what all I'm gonna be using the air compressor for. And I got uh, the biggest air compressor that I feel like any other average person uh, will go out and buy. Uh, it is a big compressor. I'll go ahead and I'll just say that. So here it is. This is the air compressor, 80 gallon cobalt, two stage, five horsepower air compressor. So this thing is no joke and it will be more than enough uh, compressor for what I need. It already comes with the accessories, the instruction information and warranty. Um, I've only seen like two other people on YouTube really show the 80 gallon version. They come pre-filled already um, and they haven't attached all the other components because they need you to do that. This is everything that it is capable of down here. Um, and it has a maximum of 175 psi so you won't ever really need to run it that high uh, but nonetheless buy once cry once uh, that's what i did here i'll be getting the rest of the valving and fittings to go ahead and uh, run my uh, drying system and i'm going to be building a uh, so i have this spare door here i'll be using this to build a closet to encase this kind of deal I will have the fans to make sure that it is uh, fed the necessary amount of air to still operate and everything, but I am in a garage. I don't really want it to be that noisy, uh, so if I can do anything to minimize that, I will. And this is the arrows. So this is 75 foot of the Flexzilla 3 8 um, hose. It already has a quick release, but this is an automotive uh, quick release uh, attachment. Um, I got this thing for a steal. Uh, this guy was offloading a large amount of uh, parts um, and I ended up looking up and grabbing one of these. So uh, it's got a lot of spider webs and everything on it. I haven't, you know, of course used it yet and it's just been kind of sitting. So um, I, like I said, I'm excited. I have all this stuff and I'm, like I just said, just ready to go. I just need to learn how to get everything all set up uh, buy a few more parts and then 
uh, buy the actual painting supplies, and I'll be ready to go, man. I just wanted to get uh, let you guys know what's going on with uh, with that while we're still waiting on other parts. We just shipped out the PCM for the uh, for the car, and we have I think everything that we need for the supercharger kit. So I'll be going over that to make sure that uh, we have all that stuff in uh, in order. We found out the wheel and tire setup, so confident on that. Uh, injectors, we already have that stuff ready to go. Like I said, I'm just have have, have all this stuff, y'all, and I'm ready to just get everything popping off like how it was. Uh, when I first started uh, uploading uh, videos, but uh, things are just trying to take, things are just taking time. Uh, we're growing at a rapid rate, 800. I can't thank you guys, like I said enough. 800, that is awesome. We just hit 700 and um, I'm amazed with how uh, large this community is getting. Um, you guys show your support and it is, like I said, awesome. It is the main reason why I continue doing what it is that I'm doing. So. So yeah, there's a whole lot that's still gonna be happening. Um, the car is just one side of it. Me doing all the painting and everything else is gonna be another side. And who knows, we might end up picking up another skill. So again, I just wanna thank you guys so much for continuing to show your support, sticking around and uh, watching the videos and continuing to interact with me. Uh, like I said, I love talking to you guys and I love sharing all the knowledge. Knowledge is power. and it's even more powerful when you apply it. Uh, what's the good use of having any of that, you know, knowledge if you're not gonna use it? And I really wanna continue doing all the work on the car myself and developing all the skills and uh, knowledge that I can attain to, you know, better not only myself and my skill set, but finish this car out so we can all see it go out there and play and do what it's supposed to do. So, so I appreciate you guys and this has been Lucky. I'll catch you guys in the next video.